Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 4-12 from RC Repeller Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the angle theta that has to be between 0 and 180 degrees of the force app so that it produces a maximum and minimum moment about point A. And then we have to determine their magnitudes as well. So to solve this problem, let us recall some of the basics. The formula for finding the moment in terms of magnitude could be written as RF sin of angle between the moment arm and the force. So let us call this alpha. Here R is the moment arm. F is the force and alpha is the angle between moment arm and the force F. Now according to this formula, moment is maximum when the angle alpha is 90 degrees because sine is maximum when the angle is 90 degrees. So we have for max moment, alpha has to be 90 degrees. So we could have sine 90 as 1. So our equation for maximum moment becomes RF sine 90. And upon simplification, we have M max is equals to RF. Now, here F is equals to 6 kN that has been given to us. Now for the moment arm, since the moment arm has to be measured from point A to the line of action of force, so our moment arm looks something like this. And this angle right here has to be 90 degrees. Let us call this point right here as point B. So our moment arm is length AB in meters. Now for AB, to find AB, we can consider a triangle that is AB and C. So consider triangle A, B and C and this triangle is a right angle triangle. We are considering this triangle this way. Which is basically a right angle triangle. So by using the Pythagoras theorem, A, B which is the hypotenuse is equals to square root of AC square plus CB square. So we have AB is equals to square root of AC which is 6 square plus CB which is the diameter of the semicircle. So it becomes 3 meters. So from here AB becomes 3 root 5 meters. So now we are going to substitute it into this equation. So from here M max becomes R which is 3 root 5 multiplied by 6. M max becomes 40.24 kN meter. So this is the answer for the moment, max moment. Now we have to find the angle theta. So if I zoom in, let us consider this angle right here as 
alpha. So by looking at the figure, I can see that the angle theta 90 degrees and the angle alpha. Since we have used the angle alpha before, so let us call this angle beta. So by looking at the figure, the angle beta 90 degrees and the angle theta are forming a straight angle, which means their sum is equal to 180 degrees. So now I have to find the angle beta. So for beta, we can consider the same ABC triangle. And we have by using the relation of tan, we have tan beta is equal to the opposite, which is 6, divided by the adjacent, that is 3. So from here, beta becomes 63.435 degrees. After substituting it into this equation, from this equation, theta becomes 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 63.435 degrees is equals to 26.57 degrees. So this is the answer for the max moment and for the angle when the moment is maximum. Now we have to do the same process but for the minimum moment. So this is our first answer. So now we have to do the, to do the same process. Again we have to consider the formula for the moment in terms of magnitude as Rf sine alpha. Now for the minimum moment, for minimum moment, alpha has to be 0 degrees because when angle is 0 degrees, sine 0 is 0. So our equation becomes m minimum is equals to r f sine 0. So m minimum becomes 0. But now we have to find the angle theta when the moment is minimum. Now what is the meaning of zero moment? It means it means that the angle between moment arm and the force is zero. So if I look into the figure, our moment arm and the force would look something like this. Since we have to measure the moment arm from the point A, so our moment arm would look something like this. And our force, this right here, let's call this point B, and this right here is point C. This is the moment arm. And our force is also lying on the moment arm. So our force would look something like this. Alright, so this is our force. So now this arrow right here, this arrow right here is representing the 6 kN force and theta is this complete angle. This complete angle is not theta because we have seen that for minimum moment, the angle between the moment arm and the force 
has to be 0 degrees. If I consider this angle right here as beta, so by looking at the figure, beta plus theta are equals to 180 degrees. So now I have to find the angle beta. So we can do the same as we have done before. We are going to consider the same ABC triangle and we are going to use the relation of tan. So tan beta is equals to again the opposite which is 6 divided by the adjacent that is 3. So from here beta becomes 63.435 degrees and by putting it into this equation our angle theta becomes Theta is equals to 180 degrees minus 63.435 degrees. It becomes 116.157 degrees. This is our second answer. This is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.